hot. You gotta slim down, bro. Keep you cooler. Now, even though it's hot, I can still enjoy the weather. I actually love the sun and the heat. But there was a time when I could withstand heat a lot better. It's actually a juicy story. This dog, though. Real hate or shine, he'll lay there. Even when it's hot. Freaking hot. Speaking of hot, we had a hot situation last night. It had to do with wild hugs. So the wild hogs have returned once again. And uh, a little lot of dogs somewhere behind there barking at them. Oh. Oh, she's running now. I'm gonna throw some rocks to help her. So that situation wasn't too hot to handle. We dealt with that. But whenever that happens, we need to check the yard, the garden and everything because they dig up everything. They can damage water lines, they can damage trees, hold them out of the ground. So let's have a look. There you are. Fixed. So I dig around the trees. I try to eat the roots and stuff. There you go. So I just love gardening work. There's always something to do, man. You're never bored. Even when we have to clean up the mess from the um, hogs and everything, they like dig up everything. I'll show you later. But the reason I do this in the morning is because during midday, it's just way too hot here. Like it can get close to 40 degrees. And like two days ago, it got to 37, which is almost 100 Fahrenheit. So that's too hot for me to be in that constant of a temperature. So in the morning, I'll do my garden work. And then in the late afternoon, I'll come back again to finish the rest. Um, and it's funny because when I did my first long juice fest, I actually experienced the heat wave in the Netherlands, which broke records that were 100 years old. It was over 40 degrees for almost a week. So it was so interesting. And I experienced that while juicing. Now, everything is, of course, relative. But in my own experience, when I did my long juice fest in 2019, like around day 20 to 30, that heat wave hit. And I could just tank away that heat and the sun like nobody's business. And... I couldn't believe it because this comes from a person who would burn like a crisp. I would get purple every single summer before I went raw, then it became a little better. But during that heat wave, like 40 degrees, it was no problem. I was just sitting there three, four hours every single day, sunning while working on my laptop from home. It was amazing. I loved it. And the juices just kept me going. However, that's not only relegated to me, right? Like so many people who go on a juice fest experience the same effects. They can sit in the sun for hours. My clients included, they message me like, I can tank in the sun for the first time in my life. I'm not burning. And here's the thing, I didn't burn either. Like I could get too much sun and I would feel it, but not to the point where I would burn and the next day I would be fine again. Like it's amazing. So if you wanna enjoy and start tanking in the sun, juice fasting is the way to go because even now, I can take sun way better after my long juice fest. Now, the only thing that will still burn is my nosy nose. I don't know why. If anybody knows, let me know. But juicing is amazing. Hello, sun. How nice of you to join us. So one thing I'd always thought is that they would eat from the compost thing, try to destroy it, but they don't touch this. So that's really interesting. 
Yeah, they've been here, as you can see. They moved that boulder, and then they've dug here for the roots. So the thing I check every single morning in the garden, if there's been any kind of noise, and usually I just do it every single morning, is to see whether these water lines are still connected to the big line and whether they're still in here. This is a cucumber plant. It's doing really well. Um, it's an important thing because otherwise everything's gonna die here because in the south of Spain it's really hot. So yeah, they've been here too, see? They've dug around here. Look at this. This is a watermelon, man. Growing in this, uh... How cool is that? It's, it's like as big as my hand currently. Cool, right? They usually go after the strawberries too, which they have done again. So, they'll dig up the strawberries like this and have to replant them again. But the strawberries are very sturdy plants, like they grow everywhere and basically demolish anything that's in their way. So they'll live. Um, they haven't attacked this one yet. This one they dug up too, sort of. You see what's happening here? Like the lines get loosened and then the water doesn't come where it needs to be. So you have to be wary of that. But this is just trivial things, right? Um, my main concern is always the big water lines, which they dig at too, because the roots of the trees are there. For example, here, this connection point which seems to be not leaking, is loosened. This one's still okay. That one is still okay. This one was loosened recently. As you can see, they've dug under it. Um, this was one completely out, so it was leaking like a lot of water. And I only found it in the morning, so it was probably leaking a lot. All right, let's check the water line. All right, so catch of the day, nice bikini, bikini. And uh, they dug up quite a lot actually, so I had to fix quite a lot of stuff. But, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff in this garden, like we're growing a lot of ourselves now, so it's cool. Now look how cool this is. So this is a cucumber plant, and it's been twirling about, expanding over here, but then it decided there is an apple tree over here that I will use to basically twirl myself around, as you can see. So it's just growing up this apple tree over here, using it as a stem. And it's actually already growing cucumbers. So basically we can grab cucumbers and apples from the same tree. Now I don't know the implication of this, but I just find this so cool, man. Look at this, this goes all the way up. Look at this, man. Like next to my head. Over 20 kilograms, 45 pounds. Heavy as hell, man. Meal number one, watermelon. Look at that beautiful blue sky. I love it. So during my first long juice fest, I was basically drinking six to eight liters every day. And here's where I get to the point of Heat is subjective, right? And sun is subjective too. I've been in three continents. Sun is really different in each continent. Like the, the sun here in Spain is different than in the Netherlands, even though it's on the same continent. But then the sun in Costa Rica was completely different than, for example, in Mexico and vice versa. I've also been to Egypt, man, where it was like 50 degrees Celsius. That's not fun. Still, I was able to tank away that 40 degree weather and a lot of sun by simply drinking six to eight liters every single day. And the magic behind this is I think that your body is not utilizing any energy to digest. So you're just recovering, 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 cleaning out your body. Your body can just absorb all those fluids and those nutrients. You rehydrate on a cellular level, systemic level. It's amazing, man. So if you want to get your tanny tanny up and enjoy the weather more, juicing is the way to go, man. I'm telling you, I've done this over 350 days. It's amazing. And when you start drinking juice, this just becomes your playground, man instead of your crispy outdoor nightmare. Just waiting to get some gas. Nice. Still don't know what this thing is called in English. Bush mower, lawn mower, avenger of grass, I don't know. So you're like Nathan. Whoops. 
So you're like, Nathan, you don't know the name of that machine, but I don't know the name of the game of juice fasting. What am I supposed to do? Like, how much juice to drink? What to drink? How to structure it all? How long should I go? What should I do when I quit? Like, I get that. I got you covered. Juice fasting blueprint down below. One page, everything you need to know, and you're on your way. You're on the go. And if you're like, I have one more information, man. Juice fasting guide, the complete guide to juice fasting. Everything I know about juicing, I've had 350 plus days of it, three part series. You get to go everything covered. If you're like, I, I'd rather read that stuff, man. Good, man. Ebook down below as well. Everything is covered, man. And before you know it, you're enjoying the weather, drinking the juice, and going on your merry way. Maybe you want support? Good, man. Link down below. 90 day mucoid plaque removal program. All the accountability you need. I'm getting eaten alive by flies here. All the accountability you need, all the support, whatever you need, all there, man. But whatever you do, start doing this, man. It's amazing, man. Before you know it, you enjoy the sun, man. You're drinking juice, you're cleaning out your body. Believe me, try for a week. You won't believe. Now, who's hungry? Meal number two, smoothie. Recipe by Sophie, as always. Link down below to her Instagram if you want it fully. But I'm gonna eat mine. You won't believe how fast cucumber plants grow. It's almost amazing. And they have like these little wiggly things that they run around things to attach to. Here, let me show you. You see that? These little wiggly things that they wrap around things. It's so cool, man, it's so cool. So, you know what's funny? Um, a lot of people that don't drink enough juice, they don't see these kind of results. They still can get burned pretty easy, or easy, right, relative to what they're doing. But when you drink enough juice, that's the most important thing on the juice fast, right? That's what I teach all my clients. The basics is drink five to eight liters of juice, make sure you get your calories, make sure you get your nutrients, and then everything will be good. You're rehydrating everything, you're flushing everything out, you're making sure you can do this on a sustainable basis, but also you're giving your body everything it needs to sustain the sun better. If you go lower than that, you're gonna get subpar results. You might get a little crispy on the outside. Lolita, is it nice in the shade there? I suppose so. On those cool trees? <laughs> Oh, mama, that's some I want. Have dinner, lettuce, avocado, wild rice, marinated with mushrooms, and a homemade salsa by Sophie. All right, let's get some shaving. So here's the funny thing, like my coworkers at the time, when I was doing my juice fest, they were like crying their eye sockets out. They're like, oh, my soul is evaporating. I'm having such a horrible time. I can't stand the heat, I feel disgusted by it. And I was just sitting there tanking it away, having a fun time, enjoying myself, drinking my juice. If you are like one of my coworkers, then this is really something you should consider to do because if you start on a juice fast, those problems will evaporate. So, get juicing, stop popping your eye sockets out, stop being miserable, start enjoying life in the sun, and step into the light and enjoy your life. See you in the next one. It's nice, right? <laughs> the way they enjoy it is not fun. Yes, so good.